السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا أشهد أن محمد الرسول الله أشهد أن محمد الرسول إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمدًا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه after praising Allah the Exalted and the Majestic while recognizing that we can never really can, we can never fully can. And after testifying that we recognize Allah's unique perfection and unique oneness, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the finality of prophethood being in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And welcoming you, my brothers and sisters, my elders, to the house of Allah and reminding myself and you with the ancient trust, the trust of taqwa, to be conscious of Allah Azza wa Jal, to be consistent to Allah and with Allah Azza wa Jal, to be dutiful to Allah and with Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, 
the glorified, the exalted. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yaqul, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu attaqu Allah haqqa tuqatih, wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun. O oh, you who have believed, fear Allah as he should be feared, and die not except in a state of Islam. My dear brothers and sisters, exactly one year ago, exactly one year ago, and with the assistance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his aid, and in this blessed gathering, we stopped and talked about the proofs of prophethood of our beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We mentioned some of them briefly, but then we stopped and pondered upon one of his greatest accomplishments, alayhi salatu wasalam. That is the community that he, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, created. Say, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. A community where human, human rights are revolutionized. A community where he, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, molded a model generation for humanity. So him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, after rectifying for people's, their relationship with their maker, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mending their relationship with one another was the, was the next natural step. So his accomplishment, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is not merely one of advocacy for virtue, such as kindness, empathy, humility, in people's interpersonal relationship, but one that also involved establishing a pragmatic system where these values and virtues, not just abstract concepts, but they find their way on the ground and flourish. So he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam established and affirmed the universal human brotherhood as it really means and as it truly should. He embraced radical, racial, he embraced racial and linguistic differences. He eliminated bigotry and racism. He eradicated classism. And he showed and demonstrated Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that Islam is a religion that has all the bells and whistles to address any ism that was there at his time, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and any ism that will come later on, atheism, feminism, machoism, whatever it is. He, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, infused civilizations with justice and security for the poor and the rich, for the Muslim and the non-Muslim. He spread economic justice, paving the road for an Islamic society that will prosper. All of that and more, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam established against atrocious conditions that he uprooted Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Security, dignity, and respect for women, justice for non-Muslims, even the rights of animals and the environment are all genres in his legacy, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Far more beyond, and many, many falls beyond, even when contrasted with today's standards. Brothers and sisters, over the span of just 23 years, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam successfully nat natured exemplary generation whose likes humanity will never see or have never seen before. And within two decades, the generation transformed the face of the earth. That generation that he وسلم, created changed the face of earth. They become not just the purest servants of God, but also at the forefront of humanity contribution. At night, you see them standing in prayer, longing for the divine. Tears running through their cheeks. By day, they would live for purposes far bigger than themselves. They exhaust themselves in philanthropy, education, or as knights, riding to liberate humanity from all but Allah Azza wa Jal. They, radiallahu anhum, established justice and unlocked the virtue of hundreds of thousands of scholars, reformers, great thinkers for centuries to come. Brothers and sisters, establishing strong Muslim community is a legacy of our beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Moreover, upholding to this legacy is an obligation on me, on you, and on every Muslim. Striving to make a positive, constructive change. As we learned through the year with different khutbahs, alhamdulillah, 
is also an obligation. So it's an obligation to strive for a strong Muslim community. It's an obligation to strive for inducing positive, lasting, constructive change. As we learn from Hadith Abu Sa'id al-Khudari radiallahu an, من رأى منكم منكرا فليغير. Whoever sees evil, let, let him change. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى أما بعد Brothers and sisters, witnessing the war crimes and genocides against Muslims today, the rise of liberal or liberal values, the corruption of Muslim nation rulers, witnessing all that, one might feel overwhelmed with helplessness. But are we, are we, really, are we really that weak as an ummah? Are we really that, that weak? You know, the only people who thinks Muslims are weak are the Muslims themselves. Everybody else believes that we have the potential to change the face of the earth. The, the instructions, the traditions, the deen that we have is a deen that if established, is going to change the face of the earth like it did at the time of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, like it did for every, anybody who hold, held the religion up high. So what's the issue? The issue is that we're not doing enough, either individually or institutionally. We're not striving enough to unlock that potential. My dear brothers and sisters, we're here in the West, especially in America, are privileged with resources and rights that allows us to make da'wah and establish strong Muslim communities. These systems and laws that we have at our fingertips should allow us to establish and have an impact that is unparalleled to Muslims anywhere else in the world. And I can expand on this for, for, for maybe half an hour or an hour if you have time about what your role, my role would have been, right, in a country like my country. I would not come near the member, except if I have certain condition and certain alliances, and you all know what I mean. But here is different. So with privileges, brothers and sisters, comes responsibilities, of course. We can make sure a certain president doesn't get re-elected. We can advocate for justice. We can support Muslims organizations that is vested in building a brighter future. Organizations that are out to make a difference for themselves, for the community, and for the community at large, Muslims and non-Muslims. Organizations such as this blessed center here that seeks to become a minaret of Islam, inshallah. An Islamic center with a mission to create thriving Muslim community not surviving, not struggling, not striving, but thriving, thriving, mental, thriving mentally and physically as a Muslim community, inshallah. A community that is inclusive and welcoming. A community where shura and transformation of power ta are take place. A community where women have equal access to knowledge, they're consulted and they're respected. A community that empowers youth, invest in them and for them. A community where these youth can feel at home. A community where these youth can grow to become its leaders, inshallah. And brothers and sisters, I think you can see, you can feel it, inshallah, manifesting in front of your eyes. Allah help, inshallah. A community that works for the excellence. Brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wallahu mutimmu nurihi. Allah will perfect his light, as we also learned in another khutbah this year. It is not a question of F. Is Allah going to complete or perfect his light? That's not the question. The question is, this is a reality. It's going to happen. The question is, what is your role in that perfection of this divine light of Allah Azza wa Jal? Brothers and sisters, your support for this masjid 
is insha'Allah a link in a chain that leads to the perfection of that light of Allah. The provisions that is going to come to this organization, any dollar amount is going to come. It's decreed. It's going to come insha'Allah. But the question you should be asking yourself, is it going to come through me? Is it, is it me? Am I part of that chain? Am I in that chain? Am I a sustainer of this organization? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in Surah Al-Hadid, آمنوا بالله ورسوله وأنفقوا مما جعلكم مستخلفين فيه. Believe in Allah and His Messenger. And then what? Believe and then what? Donate from what He has entrusted you with. Donate from what He has entrusted you with. So the provisions, the wealth that we have in our hands is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in a, in, a, in a later ayah in the same surah, just same surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reflect that this, this is going to come back to you multiple folds if spent with the right intentions and for the right causes, of course. So brothers and sisters, tonight, inshallah, bi is ICCH yearly fundraiser, the first one, inshallah, tonight during Taraweeh. Inshallah, join us and donate and show your support uh, um, and be part of that light, inshallah, isn't it? And if you can't come tonight, the QR codes are everywhere on the, on the walls and the pillars. Uh, please donate now if you can. Jazakumullah khair. And also, brothers and sisters, please remember your brothers and sisters also in Gaza. May Allah elevate their suffering, their hunger, their thirst. Remember them in your dua. May Allah grant them ease. May Allah grant them freedom except from Him, Azza wa Jal. And for my colleagues here at Intel, just note that the matching program is going to end at 5 p.m. So if you haven't done that already, please donate through Benevity. Everything you donate, up to $1,000, I think, is going to be matched by Intel. The, the deadline is 5 p.m. today. And I want you also to remember your sister, Tanjila Alam. She lost her father back home in Bangladesh. Brother Ab Abu Tahir Muhammad Alam. He, he used to come to ICCH and Bilal and the Masjid at Intel, inshallah, and he was frequent there when he was here. So please remember him and her and their family in your prayer, inshallah. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار آخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين وأقم الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله Brothers, leave space for people to pass if they are arriving late. There are usually lines in the back, inshallah. So make sure there is space between you and the rightmost uh, sidewall, inshallah. Remember Allah al-wasi'ah. Remember your brothers and sisters in your dua, inshallah. Allahu Akbar. Subhanahu. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين
سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء أحوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر ما يخفى ونيسرك لليسرى فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى تجنبها الأشقى الذي يصلى النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمدا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين قل يا أيها الكافرون لا أعبد ما تعبدون ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد لكم دينكم ولي دين الله سمع الله لمن حمدا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله